We're going to bring in right now Mark Merdler, an analyst at Sanford C. Bernstein. He has an underperformer on Salesforce.com, and he joins us from Anaheim, California. Mark, welcome to Bottom Line. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you very much uh, for having me. Uh, the bottom line is it's, it's, it's an issue of growth, obviously. Um, the problem with Salesforce is the markets that they're in. They're in the CRM space, which is not um, a fast-growing market space, mm -hmm. um, which they're now competing against players such as Microsoft, Oracle, SAP, and other players who are right. coming in at a lower price. It's driving down the price per user that they're having to charge for their product to gain growth. They're spending a lot in order to be able to grow as a company. Yeah. Their platform as a service offering it also has similar issues in a very crowded space, yeah. in which is going to be very commoditized on it and we just don't see chatter as being something that's going to generate real revenue for them. Uh, speaking of Salesforce, Mark, how much of a threat is Microsoft to Salesforce? So there's a threat in a couple of different ways. I'm at the Microsoft Build Conference right now, and Microsoft is directly targeting the cloud. They've made some major um, offerings, major announcements. There's going to be more announcements around their Azure product, which is their platform as a services offering. They are going fully into the market after the CRM space, directly against, uh, against the core product that makes up Salesforce.com. So we do see that they're going to put a lot of pressure on Salesforce Mark, and their Sheila ability to grow. Mark, it's Sheila Darmarajan here. Yes. Thank you for joining us again. You know, one My of the pleasure. big things about Salesforce.com is really Mark Benioff. He's the leader of this company. He's quite the showman. He's created so much energy around Salesforce.com, which apparently customers like too. Do you see him as like the next Steve Jobs type, one of those type of tech leaders that can change an industry? Uh, he's done a great job. He's built a company um, that has value and that is growing, um, but I don't necessarily see that he has the vision that a Steve Jobs had. Steve was able to look completely out of the box in totally different ways of applying existing and new technologies. And even though Benioff's done a lot of good stuff, I just don't see that he's in the same class. You know, taking a, a step back and looking at the big picture, we're in a macro environment where you're seeing a lot of companies start to cut estimates. We've certainly seen some of those pressures on other software companies. Salesforce.com has definitely defied some of that. They've been always raising expectations. They've been hitting their growth numbers. Do you think it's because they're just spending too much or do you think the growth is actually there in the industry? Part of the issue is the way they're growing is by spending an enormous amount on growth. The last statement they made was they're increasing the amount of spend from 48% to north of 50% of revenue is going in order to have growth. So they're spending last year over $700 million to generate $200 plus million in net new revenue per year. And that's fine in a subscription model. The only problem is how long do they keep customers? They have a, a, a churn of about what they say is mid-teens, which could be 14 to 17% so they could have complete client turnover every five to seven years. So the question is, with that largest spend on sales, do, are they able to capture the client long enough, make it sticky enough, be able to generate enough revenue, and they haven't yet been able to bring that churn number down. Mark, you have an underperform rating on the stock right now. What would change your mind about it? Is there a certain catalyst that you're looking for? So it, it's, they have to be able to prove that they can move into the new markets. They need to be able to show that there's going to be real sustainable revenue with their platform as a services offering because at some point their growth ability is going, to sh is going to slow and has already started to slow in the CRM space. So they need to have some real tangible proof with, with uh, size of revenue, profitability from the platform as a service, um, chatter. They've already stepped back a little bit and say that it's now an enabler rather than a direct generator of revenue. So so we really have to see where's the next core thing that's going to generate, the catalyst for growth out there. And my worry is that, that it doesn't yet exist. Mark Merler from Sanford Bernstein, who has an underrating on the stock. He says that Salesforce.com still has a lot to prove. Mark Crumpton sending it back to you. Thank Sheila you. Sheila Darmarajan and Mark Merler, thank you both so much.